By now you would have gotten your student visa, work visa or your skilled immigration visa and you're wondering what to do upon arriving in Australia. Not to worry because today's video I'll be sharing with you important things you need to do when you arrive in Australia. If you're seeing my channel for the first time, I welcome you. My name is Uche and I live in Australia. Number one in my list for things you need to do upon arriving in Australia is, is to convert your currency to Australian dollars. There are a lot of build a change around in the airport. Once you have cleared yourself from immigration, next thing you need to do is to convert the money you're coming with because you wouldn't be able to use them here. Here in Australia, our currency is Australian dollars. So if you're coming with like pounds or USD, you need to convert it to Australian dollars because you need to pay the transportation that will carry you to wherever you're going to or the next one I'm going to mention. The second here. one I'm going to mention is getting yourself a SIM card. So once you have converted your money to an Australian dollars, you need to get yourself a SIM card. There are various providers here that you can choose from. Just talk to them and know the one that suits you. You can start off with prepaid account, pending when you settle in, then you can choose the best plan for you. We have different providers, like I said, you can choose from Optus, Vodafone, Leica, Audi, and a lot more. So talk to any of them that you're going to see at the airport, choose the one that is suitable for your need. Brings me to my third important thing you need to do when you arrive in Australia. You need to open a TFN account. TFN means tax file number. If you're going to work in Australia, you will need your tax file number because any employer that will employ you will ask you for that. They need to deduct your tax before they pay you salary. Applying for a tax file number is free I will leave the link on my description box so you can apply immediately you arrive. So the next one I'm going to talk about, which is very important, is to open a bank account. We have various banks in Australia. All you need to do is go to your nearest bank and ask them some questions and open an account. We have Commonwealth Bank, we have ANZ, we have Heritage Bank. But as a student coming to Australia, when you get to a bank, please ask them if they have a student account. So you can go ahead and open a student account. This would help to reduce the fees or the charges that you're going to be getting. So the next one that is very important that you need to do is get yourself an accommodation. By now, when you land in Australia, you would have made plans, maybe temporal plans for accommodation. You're staying with someone or you're staying in a motel you need to start looking for accommodation. And for a student, the best place to look for accommodation is use your Facebook app. There are a lot of people looking for a shared accommodation or some private rentals as well. So your Facebook app is a good place to start up. You can also check out flatmate.com where you can look for a shared accommodation or you check out your school. A lot of people put out a notice that they are looking for um, people to share their accommodation with. If you're coming with a family member, you don't want a shared accommodation, or you're even single and you want your personal house, you can start looking at realestate.com, domain.com, and some other websites you can look out for. Before I forget, Gumtree is another good place that you can see private uh, landlords that are renting out their houses. So get a Gumtree app, put up your location and check out for accommodation. Another the there. important thing you need to do upon arriving in Australia is to get yourself a photo identification card. It is very important that you have an identification card instead of you carrying your international passport anywhere you go. If you're coming to Queensland, check out my video. I'll be leaving it anywhere here where I shared how you can apply for your photo identification card in Queensland. If you're not living in Queensland or you're living in other states, all you have to do is go to any of your transportation office and apply for your photo identification card. Another thing you need to do 
Once you arrive in Australia, is start looking for a job. And the best place to start looking for a job is the apps I'm going to mention here. If you already have a LinkedIn account back home, all you have to do is update it, your location. And there are various other job apps. For someone that wants to work in an healthcare services like disability or aged care or community service, you need to apply for your first aid and CPR. The one I will talk about that you need to do upon arriving in Australia is getting yourself a transportation card. So if you're going to live in the city, mostly where they have trains, buses, trams, you would need a transportation card and you can buy this transportation card from any news agencies around you. You need a card to access the buses and the trains in your area and various states have different transportation cards. So like I said, go to any of the news agencies around you and tell them that you need a transportation card for the state you're in. And they will sell one to you. I hope this video would help someone somewhere that is coming to Australia and wondering what they are going to do when they arrive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so anytime I post any new video, you will be the first to be notified. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next video.